Hello everyone, this is Karen and uh, I have another unboxing because I ordered like a lot of things because I'm feeling stressed about my thesis so yeah, lots of packages coming so this is it and uh, I can already tell what it is because it's transparent here and uh, um when I started purchasing uh, metallic watercolors, I went with the fine tech right away. I never tried the um, the Kuretake sets, uh, so I was quite curious. And since I have the golden set from fine tech and uh, no other shades, I thought that this set would be a nice addition to my collection. Um, let's open it. I swear I will purchase um, some scissors. I swear! Someday. Oh. Okay. So. This is the set in question. It's the Gansai Tambi Gem Color Set. I purchased this on AliExpress for about uh, 12 euros or so and uh, since I didn't find it anywhere else, like uh, on my Amazon there is no... Mm. You have the golden set, uh, the Starry Nights I believe it's called, but you don't have this. So I was really happy when I found it and uh, oh, yeah, had to buy it. Along with another Gansai Tambi set, I think it's Gansai Tambi, I have no idea, but I will have to uh, to check when it arrives. Alright, so uh, this is the, uh, the set. Uh, it's basically a rainbow set, so you have uh, um, the pens, which are the Gansai Tambi ones. Um, yeah. I really don't want to do this, but ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, you have the ginormous pen with uh, something written behind it in Japanese, I guess. Um, no idea. I will have to ask my friends who actually speaks Japanese, but yeah. Okay, so the colors are um, all gems basically, <laughs> just yellow gold is yellow gold. Okay, so gem red, gem pink, yellow gold, gem green, gem blue, and gem violet. So, mm, rainbow colors. Let's go in with some water and. Uh, Alright, I am going to do it like I would do with. Um, With the Kuretake, uh, no, no, not the Kuretake, sorry, the fine tech set. So I'm going to um, add a little bit of water on top and uh, wait, basically. Okay, so uh, right after I purchased this set, I kind of went to the fine tech site and just uh, I uh, gave them all my money and purchased a lot of uh, um, these kind of uh, uh, colors. So I have some blues and uh, I have some like uh, ice blues, ice purple, something like that coming in. Because uh, I really wanted to try something because I have seen a lot of artists using uh, metallics in their works and uh, I would really like to do my own take on it, so uh, what I did, aside from purchasing this one and purchasing those, is getting a set of the Boku Undo um, paints, which are kind of very muted colors, and uh, yeah, I will have to do an experiment that way, so stay tuned, I have no idea how it will turn out. Okay, so let's go in with the red. I do realize that uh, it is not a long time to have waited after adding water. Um, I will do better next time. <laughs> okay, so let me put this here. 
Let's go in and Okay, let's try and pick a little bit more paint. Okay, so red is not exactly red. It looks like uh, maroon to me. Yeah, maroon. No idea where this came out. Brown, it's brown. I know that maroon is a shade or something like that, but it, it sounds a bit too much like a Venetian dialect to me, so it sounds very strange. Um, okay, so... Um, well, let's watch all of them and then uh, let's see what uh, what came out. So this is the pink. Also quite streaky. Mm. I wonder if it's a problem of me adding too much water. Okay, let's do the yellow with a little less water. A little bit better, I have to say. Let's just use Okay. Okay, so the less water you use, the less tricky it is. Still, you do kind of need some water to uh, to reactivate this paint. So, um uh, Please, this is like the color that made me buy it. Uh Okay, first impression is this one sucks. Okay, so um, let's do the violet and then let's uh, think about my life choices. Uh, okay, so first thing first, uh, um, Gem colors? No, not really, no. Um, let's just wave them around a little bit so they can dry. But first impression is the colors are not that vibrant. Uh, seeing them on the photos, I had like a, a very good uh, impression. And if you see them in their pants, they're like, uh, oh yeah, awesome colors. Aside from the gem red, which has like a suspicious shade, even in the pan. The others, uh, uh, yeah, suspicious shade also in the green. But the other one, the other ones looked fine. Um, but okay, let's try it. Again with the gem pink, maybe I need to like pick up a ton of it. Okay, let's check the reflectiveness. Um, yeah, nope. Okay, so, um in the uh, swatches where I used less water, they are dry. Where I used a little bit, bit more water, they are still wet. Still, the um, metallic sheen is like uh, very, very faint on the red and is also like uh, very faint on the, uh, on the pink. It is more noticeable on the... Uh, more concentrated uh, swatch, but uh, yeah, I'm not too pleased with this set. I have to say if this is my first impression. The gold one is actually the only one other than the green that gives me hope, but uh, um, we all know that uh, everyone has seen a review where they compare the fine tech gold set with the uh, Ganzai Tambi gold set. It was the first one they made, so of course uh, it's going to be better, I guess. Um, I am, uh, yeah, I have to say a little bit disappointed because from the swatches I saw online and from the pens I saw online, I expected uh, a lot more pigment, a lot more vibrancy. Um, this uh, very 
tricky swatches were not actually what I was looking for because I do like the uh, the flatness of uh, of the Mika when it dries. So um, yeah, I have to say I will have to experiment a little more with them, but so far. I would have to say uh, I would wait for the uh, fine tech to come in and then I would compare the shades I have from fine, fine tech for um, I will have to compare them to these and uh, see which one works because uh, yeah I expected something different I have to say so let's see when the others arrive the comparison and uh, if they do not match up, uh, maybe this will be a giveaway, probably, <laughs> because, uh, um, yeah, not really that happy with them. <laughs> okay, so, um, as you can see from the swatches, they are very streaky and as you can see from the swatches, they are very streaky and uh, it's a problem I never had with the, uh, the other brand of metallics that I have, which is the fine tuck one. Um, out of all these, the gold one is the like the only one I could see myself using because uh, I do have a theory here um, the gold set from uh, uh, Kuretake was the first one of metallics they made and so I think that they kind of uh, they had a challenge to win of sorts they had to be co uh, competitive so they put everything they had in uh, in the golden set because the other ones are not as uh, opaque they're much more streakier and uh, if you see it uh, in uh, in the light uh, the gold one actually has a complete sheen over it while the other ones the uh, white of the paper shows through so um they're less opaque and i think that they're also less pigmented with uh, uh, I don't know if they use Mika or something else, but the metallic tone is definitely uh, better in the gold one. So, um, I will have to wait for my other paints to come in, because right now uh, these are fine with reflected light, they, they don't look that bad. But uh, when the light does not hit these pigments, uh, you have very, very muted colors and uh, you can see the streakiness right away, so um, I'm probably going to struggle using them. So I will have to, to play with them a little bit, see what they can do, if uh, something can be done about them. But uh, yeah, so far it is not a palette that I would suggest you buy. Still, um, since it is a metallic palette, uh, you are probably going to purchase this just for accents or just for special effects. So. Um, I will try to make some experiments with this palette just for this purpose and see if it can be used, if it's something that is worth the purchase, even though it is kind of cheap. But uh, yeah, I will need to study this a little bit more because so far I'm not thrilled, but I'm still hopeful. I always hope that uh, <laughs> I will find a way to use them. Okay, so... That's it. Thank you for being with me for the unpackaging and for the um, for the swatching. If you liked uh, this kind of video, stay tuned. I have more coming your way as soon as the packages arrive. And uh, consider subscribing if you liked it. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being with me, and until next time.